12th and today we are going to discuss about multi vibrator and its order code is 36195 so in this video we are going to discuss about the working of this trainer kit so this is our multi vibrator trainer so here we are having a dc voltmeter which ranges from 0 to 20 volt and this is the fixed dc supply of plus 9 volt and minus 9 volt and this is the circuitry here we are having a transistor bc108 and this is another transistor bc108 and this is a third transistor of bc108 and these are the resistance capacitance capacitance of dielectric and ceramic capacitors and this is the power supply it is a variable power supply which ranges from 0 to 9 volt this is the oscillator of 1 kilohertz then this is a pot of 100k this is another pot of 100k and here we are having the resistance section then this is the pulsar switch from this we will provide the triggering input to the circuitry now we are going to perform the experiments on the kit so the experiment we are going to perform is to study design of multi vibrators so the first experiment we are going to perform is free running or a stable multi vibrator so for that firstly we need to do the connection the connection is given in the manual so this is the connection diagram and we have to do the connection on the trainer kit so now we will do the connection so firstly we will connect this resistance section with the pot section and now we will connect this resistance section with plus 9 volt supply and now we will connect this 390 ohm resistance with the transistor and now we will connect the other end of the transistor to 220 pf capacitor and this other end of 220 pf capacitor will be connected to this transistor and now similarly we will connect this 390 ohm resistance with the other transistor and now we will connect the other end of this transistor to 220 pf and we will connect the other end of 220 pf capacitor to this transistor and now we will connect the transistor to the common so now we will observe the waveform on the dso so for that we have connected the channel 1 at the a output section and we have connected the channel 2 at the b output section so now we will observe the waveform so we will switch on the trainer kit and we will slowly vary the 100k pots simultaneously So here you can see that this is the waveform which we are getting. So as you can observe that at channel one we are getting we are getting this output, and at channel two we are getting we are getting this output. and you can vary the pot and you can observe the waveform so that is how you can perform this experiment and you can cross verify 
the waveform from the manual also so that is how you can perform the experiment work now we are going to perform another experiment that is to design and make a bistable multi vibrator and to study its dc conditions so for that firstly we need to do the connections so we will connect the resistance section with this resistance and we will connect the other end of this resistance with plus 9 volt and now we will connect the 1k resistance with the transistor 1 and we will connect the other end of transistor to 220 pf and we will connect the 220 pf with 47k resistance similarly we will connect this 1k resistance with the second transistor and we will connect the 220 pf with 47k and we will connect the other end of 220 pf with the transistor and now we will connect the 220 pf and 47k resistance with the transistor 1 and we will connect this 220 pf and 47k resistance with this transistor and now we will connect the transistor and with common and we will connect a 100 ohm resistance to the common section and now we will provide a pulser to the capacitor so after the connection is done now we will switch on the trainer kit and we will observe the output waveform so we will connect the channel 1 at q bar output and we will connect channel 2 at q output and when we will press the pulse switch we can observe the waveform so now we can check the waveform so here you can see that at q bar we are getting the inverted output and at q we are getting the proper output so when you will press the pulse switch you can get the output so that is how similarly you can perform all the experiments that are given in the manual so that is how you can perform this experiment third so that's all the demonstration from my side if you have any query regarding this kit you can contact at tesla global website you can find the link in the description for more information go through the manual thank you for watching this video if you like this video like share and subscribe to our channel